Starting next year, you're gonna see an extra 10 to 15 cents on your water bill. That's an environmental charge. It's for EPCOR's new solar farm, but also for a river monitoring program for the North Saskatchewan River. We talked to Stephanie Newfelt to figure out what that's all about. So this monitoring program uh, would be assessing the main stem, um, about 20 sites on the main stem and about uh, 20 tributaries that flow into the main stem, um, all the way from the headwaters all the way to the Saskatchewan border. So this would be a comprehensive picture so that if we were standing here right now and we saw 10 kilograms of sediment go by, we would know where each of those areas, where it was contributing from, and then we would be able to then look at management changes or management implications in each of those areas to better manage the water quality at a particular location in the river. We have a triathlon club and we've been doing triathlon for a long time um, as well as recreating on the river but so we swim in the river generally we get in at the Quinell Bridge and swim down to just this area near the Kinsman so if you can see to the bottom you can swim in the river there's always a risk to everything that you do um, but you know you can reduce those risks a lot so once you start to try to explain that, you know, these are all the possible impacts to the river, um, but that in many cases it's, it's very high quality for swimming, much better than lakes in lots of cases. So a new river monitoring program, does that mean the water is clean or dirty? Well, Stephanie says it's clean enough to swim in a lot of the year. So if you're clear cutting upstream, that's obviously going to impact the water quality. There's going to be a lot more runoff and sediment in the water. This will actually let the EPCOR pinpoint where that's happening and then if it's a problem, the data will help convince the forestry officials to change their practices.